Starting next to the rows slightly outside the right of the composition, click to add first adjustable anchor point. Move your cursor to add the next point, then click and drag in the direction you want the car to go. Brilliant. This creates a point with a handle that makes the path bend smoothly. Click and drag to create the remaining points. Absolutely. If you need to reposition an anchor point, you can drag it to a new location on the composition. No, well at least you can actually do that. There's a blessing. If the path is too rigid, you can smooth out its curves by selecting an anchor point and adjusting its handles. Except that's just blatantly not true because I mean that's just that's still just as rigid but just in a different way. So thanks for that. I will just create loads of points because you have no point. Click on the position setting and press Control V. Oh, this is better than the last time. Press Control O O. Press Control O O. Well, okay, apparently that's not happening anymore. Press Control Alt O to open the menu. Apparently not. With the red car layer selected, press R to open the rotation property for the red car layer. Drag the rotation angle to the right until the front of the car is aligned with the road. Right. Well, that seems just about right, doesn't it? I think I think what we're saying here is that there, there actually is no such thing as they're talking about, so that's brilliant. We'll just have to have a sideways car by the looks of it. Okay, let's preview it then. Well, hey! Mad ride. No good telling me to do a thing that I can't do. Oh, it's changed now. Look at that. As soon as I pressed R before, it's rather peculiar. But sure. Okay. Right. Bit jittery, but seeming as handles don't work, there's a little else I can do. Oh, there we go. Congratulations.